Diagnosing a slow loading web page with Firefox. This may sound a little intimidating, but the developer tools in Firefox and Chrome and a couple of other browsers can actually be very helpful for just about anybody trying to understand why a web page might be taking a really long time to download. Diagnosing a slow loading web page with Firefox. Firefox and other browsers include a tool to diagnose web page slowdowns. I'll walk through how to get at this tool and what to look for when diagnosing slow loading web pages in Firefox. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thank you to the patrons of AskLeo for making it all possible. AskLeo.com slash patron for more information. Question. When running Mozilla Firefox browser after entering a valid URL, a very long delay occurs before the chosen page appears on the screen. One or more messages, waiting for, transferring data, TLS handshake, etc., seem to be accessing strange, unwanted advertising websites, which probably result in the long delay. Pop-up blocker is active, but Firefox apparently insists on loading foreign web pages regardless. Can anything be done to eliminate this very annoying delay accessing the URL I entered? It really depends on which pages are causing the problem and why. There are, as you might expect, many possibilities. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to introduce a diagnostic tool available in most modern browsers. While it's generally packaged in something called developer tools, you don't have to be a developer to use it or benefit from it. Since you're using Firefox, I'll show you there. Developer tools. Click on the hamburger icon in the upper right corner of the Firefox window to display the menu. Click on Web Developer. This will display a submenu of options. Click on Network. This will open an additional pane of information alongside or below your main web page display. You can adjust the location of the pane to be below, to the right, or the left, or in a separate window entirely by clicking on the ellipses in the upper right corner of the page. You can also adjust the relative size of the pane by clicking and holding on the border, separating it from the main window and dragging to a size you find useful. To provide as much screen real estate as possible, maximize Firefox. Getting performance information. Click the refresh button on the web page you're viewing. The networking pane will be updated to reflect all the resources being requested by your browser. This includes the page itself every image on the page, every style sheet used by the page, every JavaScript file used by the page, additional font files used by the page, more. The result will display as a cascading waterfall of information in the networking pane. You may need to resize the pane and or the column containing the displayed waterfall. See the accompanying video for details. Each file is listed along with a multicolored bar representing various aspects of the amount of time it took to load that file. Depending on the website design, there can be hundreds of files involved in displaying a single web page. Click on a file to get a breakdown of the time spent fetching that single file. We can use this information to diagnose some of the issues that lead to a slow web page. Aspects of speed. The items in the timing breakdown tell us various things. Blocked. The browser tries to fetch several things from the server it's connecting to at once, which minimizes the time it's doing nothing while waiting for one or more of the items to complete. By default, Firefox attempts only six things at the same time. Being blocked is time waiting for one of those six items to complete. I believe it may also include some internal overhead as it is non-zero even on the very first request. If you're seeing lots of files spending a disproportionate amount of time blocked, there's not a lot you can do. This is a function of the web page design and the speed of your connection to the server. DNS resolution. Domain names like askleo.com are mapped to IP addresses like 67.225.161.116 through the domain name system or DNS. DNS servers take some time to respond to each request. If you find DNS resolution appears disproportionately long, it might be time to consider using a different DNS provider. Connecting. 
This is the amount of time it takes for your computer to establish a connection to the server hosting the web page we're attempting to view. This is generally a function of the speed of your internet connection, the path to that server, and the speed of that server itself. Unfortunately, there's little you can do to control this other than get a faster connection or a better ISP. TLS setup. When using an HTTPS connection, this is the amount of time spent by your computer and the remote server confirming that server's identity and establishing the encrypted connection. Much like connecting, little of this is in your control. Sending. This is the amount of time it takes for your computer to, finally, ask for the specific page you're requesting. This is mostly a function of your internet speed. Waiting. This is the amount of time spent waiting for the remote server to respond to your request. This is generally a function of the speed of that server, as well as the complexity involved in returning whatever you've asked for. Receiving. This is the amount of time it takes to receive the response. Besides being mostly a function of your internet speed, larger responses, bigger pages, larger images, etc., take more time. Gather data, look for trends. When trying to diagnose overall slowness, we look for trends. As I mentioned above, if DNS resolution takes a disproportionate amount of time across multiple files in your request, then it might be time to switch. If you spend most of your time waiting, it could be that the service you're accessing is simply slow. If you look at the files being requested and notice a pattern, say all the files on one specific domain are slow, but the rest are fast, then perhaps just that specific service is slow. This often happens with servers that supply advertising, for example. On occasion, the reason for a slowdown becomes quickly obvious. Unfortunately, that's not always the case, and we need to rely on looking for these types of patterns as the web page is fetched. And finally, remember that big things take time. Two of the most common causes for things being slow are, we've asked the website to perform a lot of work before returning a response something like completing a sale or querying a database. We've asked the website to return something large, such as one or more high quality pictures. In both cases, the solution remains the same. Be patient. For links related to this article or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 123005. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.